Like that. The, the Lord, Lord of Games. Games. Lord of Games. Yeah. <laughs> the guy that the Fong the Tongs in head. He's got that cloak, and right. you could just pull all kinds of crazy weapons out of the cloak, and that would be some be fun. Season later. Thing. That that would be like three seasons later, <laughs> though. I, I don't even. Battle Tones. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a huge <laughs> fan of we, esoteric blaz blue like dude, crazy we characters. Love, but we'll keep them out for a while. We right? love Battle Toads, and believe me, we keep begging for. Yeah, for there to be more Battletoads stuff, but um, it would have to fit. It's it's a tough call to fit those things into the Ki universe, right? Zits. Yeah, oh, Zits and Pimple Zits. and Rash, all those. You know, it'd be so awesome. But, oh, you can oh, it's my favorite red glacius again. Oh, oh. You kind of say glacius. Meat glacius. Oh, it's like Lady Gaga and Glacius. Like, yes, that's what I thought. Meat Wad is the most awesome. Meat Wad glacius. It's been in the freezer for too long, so it's got to have this like frost shoe. And this is where our Jago turns into Sylvester Stallone and beats on the frozen meat. Questions. Oh, I'm sorry, what characters 7 and 8 need before launch? Yes! You will know yes. what characters oh, 7 yeah, and 8 are yes. way before launch. Well, you will see them. Yes, you will see them, you will you will, you will show videos of them, you will show them being played. Yeah. yeah, they won't be done, so obviously there's only so much we can do with 7 and 8 are in launch. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, 7, seven is... 7 is... is oh, seven 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 is seven is seven oh, God, God, I cannot wait. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so we want to announce both and show as much as we can for the next one. You need to know everything you're getting before you go. Yeah, to like, so, yeah, we don't, we're not going to be like, oh, and stay tuned for character seven and eight at some point, and please pay us money for them before you know who they are. That's like, that's not, that's not the way we're going to work. <laughs> oh, damn it. I was hoping you would get the throw in. Can you guys talk accessories? Yes, a little bit. So, every character has accessories, um, and they're based on, the cool thing is, is they're actually based on costumes, so... Whereas we have, um, you know, like right now that we've got costumes for these guys, and then we have those classic costumes, um, the accessories will be different between the two costumes, and each each costume has multiple accessory slots on the character, and sometimes they're actually different depending on the uh, depending on the costumes. Then you can mix them. Whoa! Oh, that was totally weird. Um, so, so I'll give you an example. Like for Jago, um, this skin's costume uh, uh, things uh, accessories are his mask. His sword and um, his knee pads are the three things that you can change out on this costume. Yep. All right. Can we please? <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be able to answer this, but I'll ask anyway. Can we please get a rough estimate of how many female characters will be in the game? No. By when? <laughs> well, let's <laughs> see. By season four. I would right? say more than one. Because because no, we have more than one. That's a good yeah. answer. Yeah. 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 There's more than there one. You go. So it's more than one. Sorry guys, we have that a little. So the deal is, is that the deal is is that you know we've shown you two female characters so far so far. There may or may not be female characters amongst the remaining two characters, but we are definitely going to keep adding more female characters as we go. Yeah, this is really important. Yeah, remember we're not done with this game when we launch it. We're going to keep adding. We're going to keep refining. Oh. We're going to keep adding new stuff. We have a we have a, a request for Glacius versus Sidira. Glacius versus Sidira. Okay. Ding ding ding. I not. I'll play Sidira. Can you talk about Glacius' frames? It looks like it's very hard to combo break a lot of his combos. Uh, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually, it's, it might be a little harder to identify his, uh, his doubles. Um, um, some of them have really good tells. Like his heavies have really easy tells. Sometimes I get confused between the mediums. Um, at range, it's really easy because you don't look at him, you look at what your character is doing. When yeah. Glacius doubles at range, if your character is not moving, it's a medium. If your character is moving towards the other the opponent, it's a heavy. And if you're moving away, it's a light. You can also look at the angle of the, uh, of the, the ice, ice spikes thing. actually change depending on, on yeah. light, medium, heavy, which is a really great indicator to, hey, push the buttons on the left. The ones in the middle are the ones to the right. Yeah. Like, as Glacius, you find that you, you get broken so much from the game that you have to use counter Oh, uh, let's see. Well, does Orchid still have her helicopter and sidekicks? Can we answer that? We, Orchid, we have we have maintained a lot of Orchid's repertoire uh, from yeah. from the games, and we've paid a lot of homage to kind of how Orchid played and felt um, in this new version. So that's I think that's a fair thing to say yeah, about yeah. her. It's also fair to say she was Ooh. quite acrobatic in the past, yep. and she remains very by herself. <laughs> I don't think I've seen Miley Cyrus react to that. <laughs> you haven't seen her twerk then. 
I haven't seen her on tour. Is that what I'm saying? Twerk. Twerk. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't really want to see that. I was going to be proud that I hadn't seen her on tour. Uh, I don't know what twerk is. Whatever. <laughs> You're supposed to be at some point. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Quality over quantity, my good man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yes, there's actually, um, it's a new effect they put in recently, and yeah, there is... Yeah, you can see it right there, when, there's, when it's lit up under a bar. Yeah, there's actually kind of an effect. Now they're going dark. Yep, yeah, I don't think it's actually lit by the... It's there's lit by the environment. It's definitely by character reflection, so as you see as the characters move, they're actually kind of changing where they are. Good catch, because I kind of noticed that, but... Yeah, it's actually based on yeah, the characters, it's and it's, it's, it's shadow casting onto the bars. Yeah, oh look, just stand back. Just stop standing back and say, throw the fireball. No, it can, went by the first Yeah, one. they're kind of moving. I, you when you're know, closer. No, you can you see. Know, I don't want to promise that, like, the environment is Okay, no, the coolest thing. Yeah, you're missing the coolest thing. <laughs> stop, stop. stop. Yeah. Just one second. Hold the fireball over the life bars again. Okay, that's good. So the life bars are distorted through the ice yep, yep. of the of the ice of Yeah, for those of you that yeah, a lot of people don't really. I mean, it's just transparency. It's so the interesting thing about fighting Sidira with Glacius is one thing that we found that's kind of neat is you know being in the uh, being in the corner is generally something you don't want to do, but with Sidira you actually kind of want to be in the corner. Nice. Yeah, because otherwise she's nice. behind you ten times. Right, because when you're in the corner, she can't actually get behind you, and that makes that really does limit her game in some ways. Yeah, she can't do the double cross up. Which right, is like her best secret of all time. Exactly. <laughs> so like we're still working on her. She's pretty good right now, but she's like she definitely has weaknesses already, like her defense stuff. Yeah, her defense is not good. If you can keep me on the ground, I mean, Glacius is slow, so I can poke a lot and kind of get under his defenses. But yeah, if you can keep me on the ground. Um, okay, let's see. Will the arcade stick be available for launch, or will there be easy updates? Yes. Well. Hey, well, you've got the Mad Cats guys on there. They can answer that. I don't know. If Are they still in? <laughs> I don't know. There's too many. This chat's going way too fast. And I'm what cool. was the second question? Um, the goal is for the stick to be available at launch. Yes. Will there be any DLC With what? With the stick? Uh, yeah. Check back with us. Okay. Can you still get Shadow Jago if you don't pre-order? Uh, no. No. You have to get day one gold fish. Uh, let's really? see. Yeah. Is the game's audio in 5.1 surround or 7.1 surround? Uh, we are mixing for 7.1. Okay. Um, uh, why did you decide to only start with, or, yeah, only start with only eight characters when most games nowadays start with nearly 20? Because we're building this game with a very small team and we're, we've been, we've been working on it for a year. Had we had, had we have more time, you know, these characters take a while to build. It's 